here's how you can make your file transfers much quicker using Robocopy. So first thing you want to do, as always, you want to put the word Robocopy. And of course, you will have your source folder. So for this example, I am going to be transferring my videos folder, which is on a different drive and the destination I am going to put as a new folder here on the C drive. Let's see, it doesn't exist yet. We're going to call this new videos. So we're going to take everything that's in this folder and put it into this uh, one called new videos, which hasn't been created on my C drive. And then what we are going to do is we're going to use the slash E, which basically means that the folder or source folder here has many subdirectories and files within those subdirectories. So we want to go ahead and copy those as well. And we are going to be using another flag, which is called MT. Now MT is called multi-threaded. And by default, when you run Robocopy commands, something similar like this, Microsoft by default uses eight threads, but you can actually specify the amount of threads that you have. Microsoft allows you to go from between one to 128. For this example, I'm going to use 24. And the last thing you want to do if you want your transfer to go much quicker besides using the multi-threaded flag is you would want to go ahead and output everything into a log file. When you run the command here, uh, if you have like a whole bunch of files, it would output everything to the console. If you put everything to a log file, nothing here would get displayed and that would make your transfer go much quicker as well. So if you want to put stuff into a log file, you want to say log. You want to put a colon and then you would just give it a name. So test.log and then all you have to do is hit enter. And just like that, it's done. You got your folder here and that literally took like probably a second. So if we were to go into our temp folder here, so if I pull this back up, you see that I created a log file in the C temp directory. And then if we open that up, we'll see here, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we transferred about 3.4 gigs. Um, the copy like literally took no time at all, but it's great if you have like, you know, hundreds or like over like a whole terabyte or several terabytes, even a petater, or uh, even a, a petaterabyte. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, even if you have a petabyte of uh, storage and stuff like that, it works very, very well. So definitely give the multi-threading one a try. Um, for if you also wanted to have the display um show up in the console all you have to do is just forward slash and put tee -E. that just means that you want to go ahead and put the output to the console here and your log file which is what we just saw right here this one went ahead pretty quickly because you know all the files are there but you get the idea hope this video helps you and join me for another robocopy video in the near future